And then the last one is the help drop-down menu. Um, for a lot of softwares, help drop-down menus or help menus are very useless, but I promise you the Sherlock help drop-down menu is very useful. I almost use it on a daily basis. First, you have the show console, which shows you the console. If you ever have any uh, glitches in your software, if it uh, closes down or shuts down, the console does not shut down by itself. It will stay open. Then you can just copy all this text into a clipboard, send it to me or one of my coworkers, and then we can look at your uh, uh, console to see what went wrong. Next, we have the task monitor, which will show you what's running uh, when you're running any, any analysis. And then we have the tutorial, which uh, we recommend for every new user to go over the first six lessons. These are PDF files that go over step-by-step, -step, click by click tutorials. And then once you're more comfortable with the software and you're running your own project, then you can go to the user guide. And there's a lot of different topics here. You don't need to know everything here, but if you're working on something, like you want to know how to add a heat sink, you just find the heat sinks here, click on it, PDF file opens up, and uh, it shows you click by click how to add a heat sink here. And uh, yeah, you can see there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, topics here that you can review. And then we have the release notes, which talks about what's new in the current release versus the previous one, and about Sherlock, which will tell you what version of Sherlock you're using.